Testing one, two, three, and welcome to my kitchen. Ooh, ooh. Don't look at me like that, Indy. Don't look at me like I'm a crazy gal, okay? You're a crazy gal. How about that? <sighs> Delicious. Okay, guys. I'm so excited right now. I've never been able to film a food video like this, am I right? I'm not wrong. The no monster thing was going super, super well until the move. You know, you just, you need that energy when you're moving a lot of stuff. Today, I wanted to do a video talking about all of my grocery shopping staples. These are the necessities. This is the first thing that I grabbed after moving to a new home, a new facility. The camera's just so far away now, I feel like I have to get all up in your grill, you know? I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, please be sure to give a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a Fit Tip with Wit again. It has been a very long time since I said that. You know, I haven't filmed in a hot minute. All right, now when it comes to my grocery shopping essentials, I like things to be very simple. So I like to piece together some pieces that I know can go into several meals, and all of these meals will be very easy peasy, lemon squeezy, which is how I like it. Starting off with oatmeal. This is the Trader Joe's Unsweetened Instant Oatmeal. It's just so easy. They come in cute little individual baggies. It's got a paper cut. I have never been the biggest oatmeal fan ever, 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 ever. But this guy has whole grain oats, quinoa, flax seed, and chia seeds. And something about this combo is amazing. I always combine it with some ground cinnamon. So that's something I always have to grab. And very important, the largest carton of straws that I can find. This is a super simple go-to breakfast. You get your good carbs, you get a little bit of sweet, a little bit of cinnamon. You're feeling good after this, okay? If I'm running out the door, I gotta meet Ali at the gym to film, or I'm not super hungry, and I just wanna get to the gym pretty early. Okay, honestly, that's kinda dramatic because oats take about three minutes. Basically, if I'm being lazy, banana. Oh, ho, ho. can't forget, cannot forget about my Kodiak cakes. This is the biggest priority in my life at the moment. If you have yet to try almond poppy seed, oh, really miss it out, you know? But Kodiak cakes is when, you know, I wanna spend about 30 minutes, I wanna make myself a nice spread of pancakes. Walden Farms blueberry syrup to top it off. It's a zero calorie syrup. That's really good. Somebody told me one time they hated it and I was like, all right, what? I was really confused. <sighs> Moving on, boom. Okay, great. I just about always have a loaf of bread. I taught my little brother. I showed him how to make the hummus toast and he loves it. Stefan also loves it. My favorite type of hummus is the roasted red pepper. It is what I use on my hummus toast. I've showed you guys that recipe a million times. You also need sun dried tomatoes with it. And then I always just grab a little bag of carrots. Carrots. Super easy to dip into the hummus. Super easy snack. These are the snacks that are simple that I can just pull out of the fridge real quick. No preparation needed. And I can snack on these rather than having 18 mango bars. These are so good. This is my favorite treat at the moment. They're not superb for you. One bar is 60 calories and the bars are like that big, you know, so it's a little bit ridiculous and they do have nine grams of sugar in them. But I mean, what do I always tell you, you know? It's a lifestyle. Have a cookie, except my new cookie thing are the mango bars. So I will always, always, always have a few cans of different kinds of beans. So, oh, this is not a bean, this is corn. I love corn. I do have a can of black beans and <clears throat> garbanzo beans. Garbanzo, garbanzo. Listen, I know the vegetable police is gonna come for me after this video. The veggie police are on high alert in all of my food videos and they let me know that I'm not eating enough vegetables. And here's the thing, I know that. I'm very self-aware of my lack of veggies, but you know, I do my best. Tomorrow, I'll do better. I've been saying that for a year, but one day I'll eat vegetables. Asparagus is a delicious and quick side. All I do is I'll toss this into a frying pan with some garlic salt. Whole, holy guacamole. I've never liked asparagus until these two came together and showed me 
what love is. I usually always have with me is just a simple bag of lettuce, any type of lettuce. This is butter lettuce. I always have cucumbers. So I get the big guy here for my hummus toast. And I get these little Persian cucumbers and I just, I just, I chomp on those. And the little guys are cute, you know, little cute patooties. Oh, golden potatoes, little gold potatoes. Oh, this girl's been having herself a heyday with mashed potatoes lately. All I do is boil water, pop these in for 15 minutes, mash them up with a fork, and then I add garlic and ghee. Oh! Steamed lentils have very quickly became a necessity in my grocery shopping haul because I always combine it with this beefless ground. I love combining these two, whether I add it to a stir fry. This is a riced cauliflower stir fry. Fry up your rice cauliflower, toss in lentils, beefless brown, and coconut aminos. Boom. Coconut aminos are an amazing alternative to soy sauce. I also use this beefless ground and the lentils to make tacos. I've also showed that recipe. Fire roasted bell peppers and onions. Yes, this is frozen back. And yes, it's because I'm too lazy to chop up bell peppers and onions every time I make tacos for my boyfriend who eats 1,800 tacos a night. Oh, which means I have to have taco seasoning. These are what we use for the tacos, corn and wheat tortillas. This is the same stuff I buy every single week. I have no problem repeating meals, you know? It's just it's who I am as a human. Okay, yeah. I thought this video was gonna take me 18 years, but I'm kinda, I'm kinda rushing through this. I have to tell you something that probably will shock you. Um, I'm not obsessed with acai bowls anymore. I know, it's crazy. But anytime I want something so sweet, my sweet tooth is just really kicking in, you know? The only thing my sweet tooth is thinking about is a chocolate frosty from Wendy's. Acai bowls really do the trick for me. Pack it up loops to throw in. So I usually have a, just a few snacks around the house, you know, nothing crazy. But I need snacks in my house, okay? If I don't have snacks in my house, I'm not gonna be a happy gal. Bama peanut snacks. I pick these up every single week. I love them. They got a little bit of peanut. Speaking of peanut, I did forget peanut butter. Then I like to have a few protein bars around the house. My favorite still until this day are Power Crunch bars. Whole, whole day. Power Crunch bars and I, we've been in a very long, long relationship. As for a few miscellaneous things that I picked up when I first moved into the house, salsa, as you can see, I've already demolished this bottle. Tacos and the 1800 that stuff needs. Ketchup, unsweetened, original almond milk. I always have coconut oil spray and olive oil spray, just nice cooking sprays. You gotta have them. Salt and pepper. Listen, this may be lame, but then you're gonna forget to pick up salt and pepper when you move into a new place, and then you'll be annoyed. So. Nutritional yeast is something I always pick up. I've been using nutritional yeast as a substitute for cheese. A new necessity that I added to my list is sparkling water. This is from Spindrift. The reason why I love Spindrift is because the ingredients are very simple. So for instance, the ingredients in the blackberry is carbonated water, blackberry juice, fresh lemon juice, and blackberry puree. Favorite flavors of Spindrift at the moment are lemon, blackberry, and orange mango. I always have these in my fridge now, especially when I'm trying to reduce my caffeine consumption. I forgot to show you one thing though. I had this at my old house and I really encourage you, if you are drinking plastic water bottles, to cut that out and get yourself a Brita. This is going to purify your water and it's reusable. Honestly, Mother Nature is upon me and I just really feel her knocking on the door. So I'm just being really dramatic for no reason. <laughs> Alright guys, that is my current grocery shopping necessities. I hope that you guys found this helpful. Definitely let me know what food videos you want from me next in the kitchen. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and for being so patient with me as I've been moving, been figuring out the move. You know, I know I've been MIA, but you guys have been patient and you've been kind and I'm grateful for you. I have to walk eight miles to turn off the camera now, so. I'm just gonna do that now. Do you see how long that pause was? That's how long it took me to get to camera. That's how far away you guys were.